What's up everybody, Blue Thunder here with another Minecraft video, and today I'm reviewing the SDK gun mod for Minecraft, and um, I gotta say it's pretty awesome. Now it might sound a little bit different, uh, but that's because I have a cold right now, so you gotta bear with me. Um, but anyways, this will be a uh, two-part series, and the first uh, part is going to be going over all the guns, and then the second part is going to be uh, going over all the utilities and stuff, like the grappling hook and scuba tank and all that. So let's just start on. Uh, the first gun, as you can see, is the AK-47. Now, uh, I don't know the exact damage uh, stats and all that, but you can find it on the forums page. Um, I have the link in the uh, description below, so you should go check them out. Um, download it, and uh, maybe uh, if you're feeling uh, kind enough, uh, donate to him, because he's doing a really good job with this mod. So anyways, um, let's go on. Uh, from the feel of the AK, uh, the recoil is pretty high, and the... Uh, the damage is pretty high, so uh, let's go test it out on this pig right here. Uh, close range, one. Uh, I'm getting two shots because I actually double tapped it, so two shots to kill. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but I don't know uh, how far it kills long range. But anyways, um, the next gun we have here is the sniper rifle. Now this is more like a bolt action sniper rifle if you're familiar with Call of Duty, like the Intervention or the L96A1. Um, it has high damage and high recoil, but uh, low rate of fire. So Z is to zoom, and let's get a headshot on this cow. So uh, there you have it. The recoil uh, settles quite um, slow. So, um, but uh, let's see if we can uh, no scope. Oh, we can. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. So damage is pretty good. Um, but again, low rate of fire. Now this next gun, the MP5, uh, this is my personal favorite because um, the sound that it makes when you shoot it, and um, the rate of fire I think is higher than uh, that of the uh, AK-47, but I'm just going off the, the feel of it, uh, I, don't, I don't know the exact stats, but I'm betting the damage is lower while the rate of fire is higher, and the recoil is probably lower too, so let's go test it on the sheep, and uh, man, that sounds pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Now I've um, invented all these guns, but um, on this page you can ma actually make it out of uh, regular supplies like uh, iron and stuff. So uh, I might do a video about that too as well. Now the uh, fourth gun I'm showing is the I forgot how you call it. It's like the SG something. Uh, it's also a sniper rifle, but um, unlike the first sniper rifle, it's more of a um, semi-automatic, like a Dragunov compared with uh, L96. Or like a, um, I don't know, WA-2000 compared with a Intervention. Or whatever the other uh, snipers were in Modern Warfare 2. So uh, it has a higher rate of fire, but less damage, and uh, less recoil. So let's go find something we can uh, snipe. And uh, there's a cow right there. So, so as you can see, the recoil settles quite quickly. And it turns into a two-shot kill for uh, mobs instead of a usual one-shot kill with the other sniper rifle. So, you can kind of spray with this gun, but, and now this one, ha, huh, this is a beast. This is the Gatling gun, and um, the rate of fire it shoots is really quick. Um, I'm pretty sure you can burn through a hundred rounds in just a couple of seconds, so, ooh, here's a lot of animals we can uh, massacre. So let's just go over to this cow. Oh, he's dead. The, the, I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even hold it down for like two seconds. I just like need to like click it, and it's dead. And uh, it's really hard to control the recoil because it goes everywhere. So, like all these pigs right here, it's really hard. <laughs> so, but it's pretty fun to use. It's pretty fun to use, I gotta say that. So, this next gun uh, is the shotgun, which is my personal favorite. It shoots uh, 8 or 12, I don't know. I forgot, but it shoots a lot of pellets. And uh, from far away, you can even hit them from far away, uh, like that cow right there. Yeah, see, I hit it from there, but the but the pellets don't really hit much, so I have to look. I have to shoot another one. So it takes about three shots long range. But if you get really close to them, like I'm gonna go do to this cat, uh, this pig, uh, it's gonna be just devastating. Look at that. All right, so uh, now we have the um, what is this? Seventh gun? Yeah, seventh gun. The Desert Eagle. Uh, this is a pretty good gun. Uh, the damage is pretty high and the recoil is pretty high, but you can kind of spray. So look at that. One shot kill. One shot kill. 
So this is more portable than the uh, sniper rifle, but it doesn't have a zoom feature, so give and take, pros and cons. So this uh, gun, this gun is the flamethrower, and I don't know if he's going to fix the ammo thing for it, because right now it's just a black stripe. But anyways, uh, this is a pretty beast gun. Uh, you can It kind of obscures your vision, but it just lights everything on fire. And um, like this tree right here, this is just going to be obliterated. And this tree right here, obliterated. You can also damage uh, mobs and... I'm starting to lag, so I'm gonna go to a different part of the world now, and it's getting dark. Uh, it doesn't affect cactuses for some reason. So, anyways, uh, this this gun uh, before it gets too dark, the rocket launcher, normal rocket launcher, you know, and then uh, this one. Now, uh, gotta hurry it up now. So. This one is actually laser guided. You can guide it around, as you can see. You can guide it like over here. And actually, let me make some light. Let's go. Uh, let's go like set a tree on fire so we can have some light. <coughs> there we go. Here, let me help that. Okay, there we go. So this you can actually guide it. Like if I shoot it from up there, I can actually guide it to those cows right there. So it takes care of those cows. And I don't know how this fire spread up there, but like, I can guide it and shoot down the trees. You know, shoot down the cows, and wow, that burned pretty quick. And then this right here, this is um, the sticky grenade. You can actually stick it uh, to uh, surfaces and animals, which is really cool. Like, I just stuck that cow twice now. <laughs> and then uh, this one, this is just a regular grenade. You know, just throw it out, and it just explodes. But for some reason, right now, uh, I think there's a glitch or something or a bug that he hasn't fixed yet, where it doesn't destroy blocks, but it, but it can still kill mobs. So that's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now this one right here, this is smoke, and um, if you can see it, I might have to brighten up the screen. It, yeah, see it delivers that smoke right there. You see that smoke, and. Um, you jump in, and it's lag mania. Lag central. It makes like a cube. You see that? It's like a cube right there. Yeah, so I'm going to wait until this goes away because it's lagging it up right now. It actually takes a while for it to go away, so... I mean, this is like a perfect smoke screen. So, there it's gone. And here we have the flashbang. And, uh... Ooh! And I can't see anything right now. I can't see anything right now. This is actually like um, a real flashbang. I don't say so myself. Now the flashbang uh, depends. If you're really close to it, you get you know longer disorientation. If you're far away from it, you get less. And um, wow, the white thing is not going away. Here, let me just. Sorry about that, guys. But anyways, the um, the. Uh, it depends how far you're away from it. If you're really far, it barely affects you. If you're close, it affects you a lot. And I think he changed it so um, flashbangs uh, slows down or um, it prevents mobs like uh, creepers and stuff from moving and it also prevents them from attacking. So that's pretty cool. Um, now let's talk about the ammo a little bit. The AK uses light bullets, um, but you can all find this on the page. I'm just going to run through it. Sniper rifle uses the heavy bullets. MP5 also uses the light bullets. Uh, Flamethrower uses buckets of oil. Rocket launcher uses a uh, rocket, and then there's a special rocket launcher for uh, the laser guided one, and then Gatling gun uses the little li uh, light bullets as well, shotgun uses the shotgun shells, and the Desert Eagle uses the medium bullet. So um, this is it for part one. Uh, the next series I'll be going over, uh, the next part I'll be going over all the utilities of the SEKA gun mod. So until then, see ya!